Hey friends, hey friends, hey friends, it's me Alana, welcome back to my channel. some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I am going to be talking to you about some series that I am hoping to catch up on or finish uh, within the year of 2021. And I figured this would be a fun video to make, partially to hold me accountable and partially just to put it out there in the world that there are some things that I do want to try and finish. Um, I managed to finish my one and only series this year, which was An Ember in the Ashes. And I'm so proud of myself because it's been a while since I've actually put an effort to finish a series. So I'm hoping that I can carry this momentum into next year and that I can get some stuff done. So. First series that I would like to catch up on, as it's not finished yet, is A Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adeyemi. I had the second one, I just haven't read it yet, unfortunately. So I'm hoping to pick it up next year and be caught up, at least for the next one to come out, whenever that happens. In case you don't know, this is about a girl named Zelly who lives in this world where she is a Orisha and they are a group of people who hold magic within them. But a couple years ago, the magic went away and their pe her people have been enslaved ever since. One day she figures out that there's a way to get the magic back and she goes on a mission with some other people to save her people. The next book I have here is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. I loved the first one and so I'm really wanting to finish and pick up the second and third one next year. I think there's another one maybe coming out, so maybe that one as well. And hopefully just get it done. It's really interesting. It's about a girl who goes to this boarding school who uh, ends up realizing that there is a mystery that happened at this school a few years ago when it was first founded. The founder's wife and daughter went missing and were killed and this case was never solved. So the girl in the story, Stevie, takes it upon herself to solve the mystery. So I think it's really done well. You get, of course, events from Stevie's point of view, but then you also get flashbacks to the time of the murder and everything that happened before it. And so I really enjoyed that. And I'm really interested to pick up the second book and see what happens next. Cause I really wanna know who's, who killed these people. And also who killed the person that died in this, book in current day. Next book I have is Three Dark Grounds by Kendara Blake. As you can see, I really loved the first book, so I would really love to continue on and finish this series now that it's officially over. And I just want to know who wins, basically. Praying it's Catherine, but we shall see, because she is my favorite. This is about an island where every couple of years, I guess, triplets are born. And when they reach the age of 16, they are meant to compete for the throne because there can only be one queen. Each triplet has a special ability. And from there, they have to use that to basically kill each other. It's very gruesome, but I enjoyed the first one a lot. So I'm definitely excited to see what happens in the next couple of books and where the story takes it. Next book I have here is Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. I really enjoyed the first book here. So I would really like to, I'm not gonna say finish the series next year because that's a lot of books, but I would like to make a dent and maybe pick up the next two of the series and just get some headway into it. I really enjoyed the first one. So I figured I might as well try with the second and third and hopefully I'll enjoy those as well. So this is about a girl named Selena who is a known assassin and she was caught before the book starts and she's taken out of jail to become the king's champion to take part in this competition that the royal like people the king and the crown prince whatever are putting on where um whoever wins the championship becomes the king's assassin and basically gains their freedom within five years so selena makes it her mission to do this because she really doesn't want to go back to jail and from there she ends up picking up on some other mysterious things happening in the castle 
So I'm definitely intrigued to continue on and see what happens in the next book. Alrighty, next series I have here is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I recently just started the series and I enjoyed it so much. It definitely gave me Ember in the Ashes vibes. And so I am really looking forward to continue on and finishing this. So uh, I've already finished the first book. I'm on the second book, so I'm hoping to continue on in the series and just finish it because I have them all because I went out and bought them because I have no self-control. But this is about a girl named Mare who is a red blood and she lives in the world with a, where the red bloods are basically the slaves, the, the lower caste. Nobody really wants to be around them. They are mistreated a lot. And the silvers, silver bloods, are the people who rule that world. And so Mare is found out to be a red blood with special powers and it's an anomaly because only the silvers are supposed to have these powers and so from there she is wrapped into this political plot and things get chaotic is all I can say. But I really enjoyed it. I found it really interesting and good and fun and funny to read honestly so I'm definitely looking forward to picking up the next couple books. The next book series I have here is Renegades by Marissa Meyer. So I read this at the beginning of this year and I really, really enjoyed it. So my plan is to hopefully pick up the last two in this trilogy next year and just get it done because I really want to know what happens next and what happens to these characters and really just how they end because it's really, really interesting to me. So it's about these two kids who grew up in this world who are divided between the anarchists and the renegades. And so the renegades are basically the superheroes of the world and the anarchists are the supervillains. And so Nova grew up on the side of the anarchists while Adrian grew up on the side of the renegades. But because of reasons, Nova crosses over and gets intertwined with the renegades as part of her plan. And so from there you really get to know them because it is dual POV and you see that they are more complex than what you would think considering the fact that like they grew up as superheroes and supervillains. So you really get to see the complexities behind these people who are dubbed supervillains and superheroes and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good story and I'm... Super excited to pick up the next ones and see what happens. So this one I pick, I decided on because of the fact that the series is actually, uh, the TV show is coming out in April. So I actually have to finish this sooner rather than later. But that is Six of Crows. So I read Six of Crows, as you can see, and I enjoyed it. I wasn't really in a rush to read Crooked Kingdom. But now that the TV show is going to be coming out in April on Netflix, I definitely need to pick up Crooked Kingdom sooner rather than later. So my plan is to hopefully have that done before the TV show comes out. And then hopefully I can move on to King of Scars. I know the sequel to King of Stars comes out next year, but I can't remember when it is. So hopefully I can finish that too before the sequel comes out. If not, I'm not gonna freak out or anything. Alrighty, last but not least is The Beautiful by Renee Adier. So I read The Beautiful already and I loved it, but I need to read the second book, which is The Damned, in order to get caught up, especially because the third book was just announced to come out in 2021, I believe. So I would like to be caught up before that third book comes out. That way I can just dive right into that new book. So in case you don't know, this is about a girl named Celine who moves from Paris to New Orleans in the 1940s, I believe, 19... 30s? 1870s. Totally off. She moves there to start a new life and she actually gets enthralled with this dark underbelly of New Orleans that is run by Sebastian St. Germain. And so from there she gets roped into this dark mysterious world of his and it's just really good. I loved it. It made me feel so many emotions and made me fall in love with the characters so much. And I definitely enjoyed the diversity in this story as well. So those are the series that I'm definitely looking forward to either catching up or finishing next year. Hopefully this works out for me and I'm not just making up lies at this point. But I think I can really do it. It's gonna be a plan. If you like the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please go ahead and leave all that down below. If you're not good at commenting, I'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below. And if you wanna see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. You are all sunflowers in the world full of tweets.